Now ordinarily when creating tables, you would create a unique field to be the primary key. And in Access, we make use of the auto number field to be that primary key. So every new record gets given a primary key, which is the auto number. So in our case here, where we have a races database, this happens with our employees table, they get given an ID. So that's their unique identifier. That's the primary key. And in design, we see that identified by a key. Now there are occasions when multiple primary keys could be quite useful for helping to safeguard the data. In the case here, we have a races table that contains two races around December the 1st, 2013. The results for those two races, so the race ID, position and the employee, and then we have a query that gives us the results in human format so we can see the names of the people. And we see Wendy Parker won the 100 meters, John Smith won the 200 meters. And that's fine and all works great. However, there is no safeguard in the results table to stop the entry of the same person being in the same race but in a different position. For example, in our table TBL results, in the employee column, if I were to enter the employee with ID 5, three times, the table does not complain. So it's fine, you haven't broken any of my primary key constraints or foreign key constraints. However, when we then look at the results, we find that Grant Pony was not only third in the 100 meters, he was also fourth and fifth. Well, obviously that can't be allowed. So in our TBL results table, if we put this back to normal people, to stop the entry of the same employee, but in a different position in the same race, and I can do this by defining multiple primary keys. So if I go into the design of the results table and think about what must be unique here. So the employee can't be the primary key because the employee could be in more than one race. That's fine. But the employee and the race position, even putting those two together, can't be the primary key because the employee could win more than one race. They could win the 100 meters, they could win the 200 meters in which case the race position and the race employee would exist twice in the table and would break the primary key. So really it needs to be all three, the race ID, the race position and the race employee, stating therefore that all three of those fields cannot be repeated really. So I can't have the same race ID with the same race position and the same race employee. The same person cannot finish in the same position in the same race. That makes sense? Not really. Because what happens if they were in a different position, then it would allow it. So I'm not after that. I'm after stopping the repetition of the same employee in the same race, which effectively is just that field and that field. Now I can multiple select fields in the design here by clicking on the first one and then control clicking on the next. So I've now picked up two fields. And if I go click on the primary key, those two together now in effect are my primary key. So I cannot have the same employee in the same race. They can only appear once in each race. Let's save, view, nothing wrong with the data at the moment, but if I then try and enter employee number five into position four in the same race that he's already been placed fifth in, and then try and leave, it says the changes you requested to the table were not successful because they would create duplicate values in the index, primary key or the relationship. Well, it's in the primary key can't have that duplication in the primary key. So by making it a primary key formed of two fields, I'm effectively forcing the data to be more robust. But in this case, multiple primary keys are a requirement really to help safeguard that data. Rather than relying on humans to think, oh, I shouldn't put the same person in the same race, but in a different position. So we've made a multiple primary key. That will go back to who it was. And we make a multiple primary key being in design, multiple selecting the fields concerned, and then clicking the primary key option. And those two fields are then joined to form the primary key. So values can be repeated in both of those columns. They can't be repeated as a pair. So I can't have the same race employees number against the same race ID more than once. Now there'll be other times in business databases when it will make sense to have multiple primary keys. It's just a matter of thinking through your data and thinking actually, those two work as a pair. They cannot be repeated as pairing values. So to safeguard that from happening, I'm going to make the pair of them a multiple primary key.